Hey everybody, and welcome to another Module MCX Spear devlog. We are back in the saddle after taking last week off. I was just working on a couple other uh, projects. Hopefully we'll see those uh, come to fruition here soon enough. But let's focus on the task at hand. Um, so what have we got? By the looks of it, uh, nothing groundbreaking. Uh, you know, other modders have made LPVOs and 30mm mounts before. Uh, but what we have this week is the SIG Tango 6T. Uh, and this thing is just feature-packed. Um, first things first, uh, what kind of makes this stand out from the rest is that we've got Module Workshop skin compatibility, so we can change between uh, Coyote and Black on both of these. Um, we'll get more into the features here in just a bit, but let's take a look at the spear. Um, and uh, to kind of pair with this precision-themed uh, devlog, we've got the 20-inch barrel uh, for the spear. Uh, really just kind of making this rifle the the DMR it was born to be. Uh, so let's go ahead and, um, you know, maybe give this thing a, a precision stock here. Uh, I'm thinking this B5 Bravo, and we can go ahead and black out the rest of the uh, rest of the build here. Swap that around. Get that stealthed out, looking good. Uh, let's go ahead and Set that to black, and this as well. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our mount and our optic here, and let's talk some of the finer details. Um, first things first, the main point of discussion here is that we are using Anton's Vanilla Shader. Uh, this means that we get some of the, uh, the fancy eye box um, kind of scope shadow effects um, and most importantly something I think a lot of people have been wanting for a very long time is streamlined support so uh, this is a 6x scope there we go bam 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 um, let's see here I'm running a city robos slow motion mod on the uh, the button that enables streamlined UI menu, so we're going to be running in original for the rest of the devlog. But streamlined support, that's huge. That's a massive improvement over other modded scopes. Uh, another thing, as I'm sure you heard, we now have very tactile uh, adjustment noises for all adjustments on the scope. Elevation, you know, all of that stuff. Another new feature we have is Brightness, adjustable brightness settings. Um, this goes from 1 to 9. Uh, as you can see, we've also got an illumination knob on here. Um, this goes from off to illuminated to off to illuminated again. Uh, starting from night vision 1, we've got two night vision settings, and it goes all the way up to 9, which I would say is uh, pretty red dot bright. Um, another enhancement of, of this scope shader uh, compared to uh, Anton's is that when we push in on the scope we can see the uh, you know the inside of the the scope tube there uh, and we can see that objective lens so when it's properly shouldered we've got nice edge to edge clarity and then if you really really push in you're going to get a black eye and you can see all of the, uh, the inside of the scope there. So, with that being said, uh, let's take a couple shots here, um, running the SIG Tango 6T. Let's get a couple 1x shots here. Alright, let's bump that up to 1.5. Hold on, that's the illumination. There we go. 1.5. Bam. Let's get out to two. Let's clean up that target. I was having a bit of fun earlier. And then let's go up to 3x. Nope. Always pressing the wrong buttons. All right, there we go. 3x. Let's jump to four. Take that next cutout. 
And then 5x. There we go. And let's uh, rock the gong at 6x. Alright, it's a little bit washed out uh, with that brightness so high, so let's switch back to the non-illuminated reticle. There we go. Loving it. Alright, so that is uh, everything for this week. Um, nice 20-inch barrel kind of DMR setup here. Um, with the new enhanced scope shaders. Really excited about these. Um, there is uh, another certain scope that uh, I'd like to, to work on here. Um, no promises on how that's coming along, uh, but it has its own set of pretty unique and expanded capabilities. Uh, so just hoping we can bring that to life. Don't want to overpromise myself though, that will be ready when it's ready. In the meantime, we will catch you all in the next one. Take care.